Hello and welcome. My name is Jared Tinas. I'm an information security consultant here at Marco Technologies. And today we're going to be covering how to use HP's WebJet admin software to upgrade the firmware on an HP print device. The first thing that we are going to go over is obtaining the software directly from HP. To do this, you just need to go to your preferred browser, open up the search bar and search HP WebJet admin. From there, Follow the WebJet Admin customer support link, and this will redirect you to this page. From there, you just need to select the software, drivers, and firmware tab. Now this should automatically redirect you to this page upon which you need to drop down the software button and click learn more. From here, you will be prompted to either sign in to your existing HP account or create a new one. Once you do that, you hit the orange request button and then you complete the quick and short survey for getting access to the tool. Once you do that and hit next, you will receive an email uh, with the confirmation number for your order, as well as it will redirect you to this page. Now this page gives you all the different download options. What we're gonna go ahead and go with is this top one, the HP WebJet Admin 10.5. Once you go ahead and download that, we can navigate to our downloads folder and run the installer. Now, if it has been a bit since you have restarted your system, uh, the install wizard will likely prompt you to do a restart. Yep, as it is doing right now. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and pause this recording while I do that. But in any case, we'll continue in a short little bit. Okay. Now that we have successfully restarted our system, we're going to go ahead and run the installer again. Now, when I'm going through this installation, I am going to set this up for all defaults. However, if you want to go in and create new folders so that you can install it to a certain spot, you can go ahead and do so. Um, but like I said, I am just gonna go ahead with all the default configurations. All right, and now that we have started the installation, we will be back once the install is completed. All right, now that the installation wizard has completed the installing WebJet Admin, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now this is a little bit of older software, so it does take a little bit to get going. Okay, now that it has completed its service upgrade, we are now looking at WebJet Admin. We've successfully installed it on our server. And the next thing that I'm going to be covering in our next video is starting to get devices populated inside of the software itself. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.